Morning guys. Got a Sunday morning cook up here for the doggies. Gonna have a mixture of nice chicken breast and chicken thighs. Oh yeah, we're keen, aren't we guys? We are keen. Hey, we are keen, aren't we? Yeah, good doggies. Good doggies. I've just put it on the barbie. So we're about half an hour away from being ready. But we're excited to just hang around and wait for it to be ready. Not ready yet, guys. Not ready yet. Reminds me of when I was a teenager back home with mum. When are you ready? Come on. I'm hungry. <laughs> Breakfast time, getting the bowls out, is always an impressive sight to see. And there's that many bowls on the bench. I love seeing it for some reason. Just lining up like a big commercial conveyor belt. Well, yeah, let's go check on this chicken, guys. That's right, I said chicken. I said chicken. Oh, I said chicken. Chicken time. Yep, here it is. Getting there, time to turn, I think. Oh, not just yet. Not just yet. Yummy. A little bit longer, guys. Just turn them. We're about halfway. A little bit longer. Hello, mate. Hello. So one of my neighbours up the road is just giving me a message and saying his dog's got into a snake and he's not sure <clears throat> what sort of snake it is and whether his dogs are in any trouble. I'm just going to quickly whip up there and check it out and uh, catch a snake and then see... Uh, Damage to see if the dog's got bitten. But he's just uh, my neighbor that fixes the bus. So he's literally two properties up, which is very convenient. So I'm just gonna quickly whip up there on the side of the road and then go give him a hand. Make sure that gate's shut. Hello. How are we? Dogs look all right. No, the dogs though, they're not limping or anything. Where is it? Ah, oh, yeah, just there, yeah. They're still going. Yeah, little yellow face whip snakes. So they're just like little marsh snakes. They, um, where was it bleeding? Just halfway down its belly. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, he's still active. Is he limp down on the tail or? Maybe, yeah. The dog's doing halfway down. Yeah. Let's see how he goes at the back. Of the... You're right, mate. Yeah, right next to your tongs there. Yeah. Yeah, if, he, if they've broken his back. There's not much they can do for him, but 
We'll see how he goes. They usually, they're pretty robust. Like, it doesn't look to be crazy amounts of damage. Yeah. Just here? Yeah. Yeah, I think further back too. Yeah. You right, mate? See if you can move this for me, buddy. Oh, yeah, he's still got some movement there. Yeah, he's going to be all right, I think. Yeah. Hey, would be fine. Go hide in there, Donna. Okay, that's enough. Look for an exit if you give him one. Yeah, yeah they're they're pretty. <clears throat> they are considered mildly venomous, but they're considered harmless just because. No, they don't do much. Yeah, they're, they're just half a frog. They don't have their venom's not that bad. Wait. So who was who was getting it? We don't know because it wasn't there when Russ yeah. was playing with the dogs. Yeah, I was playing with the dogs just here in the grass. Ten minutes before I come up in the shed, come back because I heard the dogs, and then. I'm like, oh, there's a snake and all of them around it. Yeah, right, okay. So I don't that's know if they've got it and tagged it anywhere, I don't know. Yeah, that one, that one's a baby, which means... Um, Mum's not too far away. There's probably a few more. Yeah. I've never seen them up here. I've never seen red bellies up here. Well, yeah, they're after the same food. They're all after frogs. Hello, you've been into some mischief. You've been into some mischief. Hi. Hi. Oh, right, right, right. I don't want to... you got an electric fence boundary. Hi. Hi. Oh, Hi. Hi. I'm so excited. Hello. Hello. Lizzy, you little cutie. Oh, Hi, darling. She's like, oh, Hi. 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 Hello. Look at Lizzy. She's so cute. Hello, look at you. Look at you, huh? Look at you. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi. I love you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hello, Coco. Hello. 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 If any of them start like looking tired when they shouldn't be, yeah. or they start limping, or start licking anywhere, like there's no real major it, risk it's for. It's probably more of a chance that Ruby got it than any of them. Yeah, but it's more so if they did get bitten, it's more of an infection than a. Oh, venom. okay for that. A any any really non-venomous snake, it's really just looking for any sort of blood poisoning through foreign body rather than yeah. any venom. Those guys aren't. They, they, they shouldn't mm. pack a too much of a punch. Drop, drop it. You want to sell it? Drop it. Okay. Hello, hello, little cutie. Hello, you are cutest. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Look like that snake's gonna live. Not too badly injured, still moving all of its uh, body, curling it up and stretching out. It's probably a little bit um, in shock, having a couple of dash hounds. Give it a little bit of a touch up, but it uh, looks like it's going to survive. That's pretty good. So we we'll just put it in the pillowcase for them and they're just going to drop it at the local vet just to get a check up and then they'll just release it later today, most likely. Hello dogs, back to Brecky, eh? Back to Brecky. <laughs>
You ready for breakfast, are you, Spirit? You ready, darling? Good boy, Chancy boy. Good boy, mate. Good boy, Chance. Hey, good boy, mate. Good boy. Hi, mate. Where are you coming along with us today, buddy? Hi, guys. So we've got a couple of overhanging branches here that the bus has been scraping on as it comes in and out. So just time to do a little bit of pruning on this driveway just to give it a bit more height and not to damage the aircon unit on the top of the bus. So just gonna clean that up slightly. Hopefully not make it look too squarish. But I do like the way that the trees come over the driveway like that, so I'm not a big fan of pruning them, but it's got to be done. Got to try and maintain and keep it looking as natural as possible. So I'll start from the front and work my way up.
Just doing some general jobs around the place with Chancy Boy coming along. And clean the bus out. Make it nice and neat and tidy and fresh for tomorrow for the pool party. Woohoo! It's exciting. Well, it's a very warm day today. Hopefully this heat sticks around for this pool party tomorrow. Just cleaning up the bus, clearing up the trees here so the bus can get through without scraping them. And I am sweating up a storm. It's only 10 a.m. in the morning. Well, yeah, we've got a big week ahead of us too, setting up for Christmas, that's exciting. We got the back of the truck to set up. We got the driveway, we got the backyard. A lot of work to do, but love setting up for Christmas. It's very exciting, great time of year. Happy, joyful, kids get excited. Can't wait, it's awesome. Chancy boy go. Oh, there you are, mate. Good boy, buddy. Good boy, mate. Good job. So far, so good with the vacuum. But again, there's still such heavy leaf litter in here. It's really blocking it up. So you can see where I've vacuumed there and where I'm vacuuming now. And it is pretty therapeutic, if I'm honest with you. But I am blocking up the filter, something shocking. And it keeps turning the pump off from no water flow. So I just got to try and get as much as I can out of it each time. And then when it cuts off, I just come back in, empty the filter again, and then come back and keep vacuuming. So, so far, looking pretty good. Hopefully I can get it all done before the pump packs it in and won't go anymore. Hopefully that won't happen. Now I got this corner done, a little strip there that I missed, but just that little corner there and then the pump dies again and it's because there's no water flow so I'll show you what's happening after that tiny little corner of the pool. We've got the pump system in here, let's put the phone down so I can get it off. Jamming up full of leaves, and then the water won't flow. Well, yeah, reset the pumps, turn it on, turn it on, and that's the wastewater. Look how green that is, it's gross. That's all that sand and gunk off the bottom, but this side's looking pretty good. Now I've got a two minute wait till the pump resets and starts going again. And then I go for gold for two minutes until it turns it off again. Let's see how long I can do it for. Hopefully nothing burns out. The pump keeps running. 
but I'm getting a lot of this stuff off the ground. It's a fair bit of pool to cover though. Oh, there it goes. Come on. All right, guys. Catch you again soon. Well, I must say, it's very tedious. Only getting about three minutes of suction. And then pump turning off. Having to go around, empty the filter, turn it back on, crawling under that deck. This is about a three hour job if it's gonna be, oh, we're on, if it's gonna do it. So every two minutes, that's a lot of crawling under that deck. I'm already starting to feel it in my back, just from crouching over. Oh. Let's get this going. Not oh. Sorry about the filming there, guys. Oh. Okay, so, so far, it's going pretty well, but I'm about as far as I can reach from that side. I've got to switch over the system here. But you can see the difference in the water and all that gunk on the bottom. It's nice and blue here. Big green patch in the middle I can't reach. I'm going to have to get in for that. But uh, I'm pretty much at the other side of the pool there. I may as well try to do this last section here and get rid of it all before I switch it over, though. One last run on this side and then I'll change it over. I'm likely gonna have to get in to do the middle there. Unblock. Must be a big stick in there. Uh, I can feel a couple actually. Here we go. Starting to get some water flow again. Gee, this, these pipes are full. Not let me go all the way around. This is not a good sign. Radio. Let's go again. Hopefully I don't plug up the whole system. Looks like the pipes are all completely chockers full of leaves. It doesn't seem to be a problem for the elbow joints, but that 
part there that I was playing around with. It's not the smoothest transition into the corner, so all the leaves are jamming up there. Clogging the pipes before it even gets to the filter, so could be a problem. Fingers crossed so I can keep managing it and get the job done. And then we'll get the tool service guys out here next week and it can be a job for them to sort it out for me. Might have to take some of the pipes apart, re-glue them, fix the blockage and then glue it all back together again. But I'm just going to try and get it up and running for tomorrow. Get uh, this pool party tickety-boo. This little section here and then I'm going to swap it over to the other side. Rightio, so the pipes that are running along the hole outside here that are for the suction which are these ones and block that one off with a toy so that all the leaves would be picked up that far end. These pipes are now completely full of leaves. So what that means now is I'm gonna switch over because I've got another set of um, skimmer baskets on the other side. They should be clear. So I'm gonna block these ones off at the pump connect over to the other side there and I should be able to theoretically keep the pump going because at the moment with the with the filter clean and that little corner elbow clean I'm getting no suction which means that the pipes are just jammed up there's just too much leaf litter in them so unfortunately it means we're going to have to get the service guys out here and and pay for a bit of a uh almost another install. They've got to pull those pipes apart and clean them out. They may not have anything to clean them all out, so it may just be a case of pulling them all apart and jamming a broomstick through them to get all the leaves out. And then re-glue them all up again. However, I'm pretty sure this side's good to go. So I'm gonna switch over. We're gonna continue vacuuming the pool. And keep going until we get the job done as far as we possibly can. So, I think it's time for me to take my shoes off, get on these platforms, and start getting the final sections of this pool clean. Fingers crossed. Gonna look good for tomorrow. Well, my brother's just arrived and he is here for the week to film both the pool party and the Christmas celebrations that we've got going on this week getting prepped for the silly season silly season being craziness holidays hot weather swimming pools kids home from school it's going to be awesome get to see family and i gotta actually build these for the family i got somewhere to sleep so, a lot of work ahead of us in the next couple of weeks. G'day mate! How'd you go? Yeah, good. Yeah. Made it. So you look like you travelled light. <laughs> How was it? Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> that good? Yeah. So now from this side, I've got to walk three quarters of the way around the pool to access the pump. So it's gonna be a little bit more tedious walking back and forth. Cause it'll be right around the other side, up on the platforms, trying to get the other side of the pool. But now I'll just change over which direction the pump is sucking from. And hopefully those lines are clear and we get full suction and we finish the job. Ooh. Okay, so these lines here, that's the suction line, we want to open that up. 
and we want to close this one. There we go. Everything else is good to go. On. On. Oh. Right, we got two minutes. Get over. Get on this hose. Hopefully. It's going to kick butt. Let's see. It's going to look pretty good from up there. A bird's eye view. You'll be able to see exactly how it's been going in the vacuum. So as you can see, I just got this middle section I need to try to do something with. Let's do it, looking good. I'm getting there. Well, I'm pretty happy with this result. A little bit of cloud in the back here because it didn't work out for me with the pump, but check that out. A few scattered leaves around there, coming down already. Settle down, wind. Settle down. But that, to me, is a nice clean pool ready for tomorrow. Happy days. Box number three. Not really making much of a difference. Oh yeah. And we've got these can go in buried at the bottom. I can see it moving over here, so... While well, you sort that out, I'll just go let the dogs have a swim in the little pool. Yeah. Come on, 
on, baby. Let's find it. Good girl. Good boy, Toby. Freddo, he can't wait. So we got this great um, blow up shelter yeah. from um, a lady called Joe and friends. Joe and crew. Crew, yep. Um, from Rainbow Beach. It's pretty cool. It's awesome. It took me a while to figure out how it was going to work and what it looked like, but it sits perfectly up here. Yeah. So um, Joe. <laughs> Um, and her friends had the idea um, when they saw how we struggled with the photos at oh, yeah. um, Easter, you know, with the rain, yeah. I think it was. And mm -hmm. and so they um, ordered this for next time to cover the truck. Um, but we've got the pool party tomorrow and we thought if it's a warm one, a bit of extra shade on the, on the dock would be yeah. good we'll but it's something that we can use um quite a bit can't we we were just saying that you know maybe through the holiday season when we have a lot of time in the backyard um we can pop it up in there because we yeah, don't we don't well. we don't have a lot of shelter really don't do we no. so this is this is perfect So a really big thank you to Jo and yeah, her friends you, from Rainbow Beach. This is awesome. It was a really thoughtful gift. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's going to be amazing tomorrow. With yeah. All these. Hey, Excuse me. Hey, Excuse me. Six Swiss balls for tomorrow. <laughs> the question is, do we let them in all at once or one at a time? Bandit's gonna be happy. And we got a unicorn. <laughs>
It's raining. <laughs> <sighs> 